Artist Graham Herdwood set himself the challenge of painting all 1,800 residents of St David's in Pembrokeshire. Ten years and a thousand portraits later, Graham thinks his City of Portraits project could take another decade. Joining me now is the man himself, artist Graham Herdwood. Uh, Graham, thank you so much for joining us on Talk TV well, this this afternoon. It's, it's a real pleasure. How are you doing? I'm very well, and I've been really touched by this project that you started. Um, just to explain to our viewers how this all came about. Um, I, I started the project um, probably a bit longer than 10 years ago, and it was about maybe doing a composite of uh, 80 portraits to make one image as a sort of abstract piece. And as you look at any painting or any visual thing in your life, um, it's when you get closer, you, you can see something which is very personalised, and the portraits for me would be the personalised images. And I, I was with a, I was engaged to a very beautiful girl in my life, and unfortunately she had cancer and passed away. But her legacy for me was, sorry my dog's barking, anyway, her legacy for me was um, carry on doing it and be with people, be with people who are very important in your life. And the whole idea of doing portraits of um, local people around St David's is powerful for me. And it uh, made me really focus on who I am as an artist. And, and Graeme, so you just mentioned her there. It was uh, Debbie, who, it was, um, yeah, you, Debbie. You, who you were engaged to, who yeah. found out that she had cancer and asked you to, to do her portrait, and then you finished it. Very sadly, after I, I, her... I, I, finished, I finished her portrait sort of post, in, a post, post, in a posthumous way, which I then, after she was, um, after the burial and things, she was, I, I gave the portrait to her parents and her brother. Um, and it was after that that you decided you were going to do every single resident of St I, David's... I, I'm, I'm attempting to. <laughs> uh, I think, in a way, uh, she said... You could do it, but whether you achieve it or not, but, but it's like any project one takes on, um, I think you just have the ambition to sort of strive towards it. And, and, and Graham, uh, how do you find all these people? I mean, do you go up to them in the street? Do you have a census of everybody that lives in St David's? I mean, as we've said, you've done about a thousand. Um, not quite a thousand, but I'm looking forward to doing a thousand. Um, no, I kidnap people sometimes. And, <laughs> no, I mean people. People come into my house and said, "Would you mind painting me?" And it's a it, it's a very prolific subject, and the whole idea for me is is really it's being sort of um, every day to actually wake up and you have a challenge to do something, whether it be a portrait or whether I want to go into a landscape or. But to do a portrait is the most, um, I don't know, it's such a personal thing to do. And you you actually feel like you're sort of uh, reaching somebody's um, personality. And, Graham, what, what's going to happen to the portraits? Well, hopefully, when I achieve... I think next year I want to do an exhibition in St David's. And um, I think the cathedral... I've been talking to the dean and the bishop and I've got an idea about projecting some of the images onto the tower of the cathedral. And, and I have to say, they're, they're very beautiful, but have you had any complaints from anyone who sat for you that they didn't like the way you'd portrayed them? A, it's very kind of you to say that. Um, I feel really proud of what I'm doing. I've had nobody... I, I've had one or two people saying, and maybe it's involved with their, what they're going through in their lives, and maybe not feeling confident. Uh, it's been very few, but maybe three or four people. But it's a great privilege. I mean, most people get a portrait you know, if they're very posh, a member of the establishment, or you know, very wealthy. So being able well, to yeah, yeah. provide this for really, so many people. That is a very good point because when you look back, you know, in, it's sort of, in the centuries ago, most portraits were commissioned by the hierarchy of society, and. Um, so artists made a living out of sort of being, you know, in the king's regime or whatever. And, yes. um, and so they made, you know, but portrait, I think what's, I find really sort of quite powerful for me is 
when people say you're cherishing me i feel i feel wanted i feel oh I how deep. lovely but important so but it works both ways it makes me feel humble and you know it's a, a very powerful feeling oh.